By now, we've all seen the big features that have come in patch point 14 that have really shaken up Escape from Tarkov. But now that we've had some time with it, we're starting to see how combinations of those features can have really big impacts on smaller, more specific parts of the game. In this video, I want to talk about how several of those changes have come together to put 9mm back on its throne as one of the best budget calibers in the game. Let's go ahead and dive right in. If you have ever wondered how to get better at PvP in Escape from Tarkov, I have the answer for you. I have been saying for years now that the best way to get better is to give yourself the ability to learn from your deaths by watching back your clips, and that could not be any easier than with Outplayed. Outplayed is an awesome software that lets you do all sorts of stuff like screen record, take screenshots, record clips, and edit them and share them with your friends. It integrates with literally hundreds of games, and one of the coolest things about it is it allows you to record clips based on specific actions in specific games. For example, you can set it to automatically record a clip every time you die in Escape from Tarkov, and you can set how much you want recorded before that that moment. This is incredibly important. Instead of just going back to your stash and wondering what happened, you can actually watch it back and see maybe there was another teammate that you didn't know about, maybe your push wasn't the smartest play and you would have done something different. Doing this consistently will definitely improve your skills and help you start surviving more raids. And if in addition to that you want to record some of your best clips, you can do that in Outplayed as well and edit them in the app and share them directly to your friends. Outplayed is simple, easy to download, and absolutely free. If you want more information or if you want to get it installed, you can click the link down below. Thank you so much to Outplayed for sponsoring this video. 9mm and Escape from Tarkov is a classic example of just swinging the pendulum too far one way and then too far the other way. 9mm had always been a great budget and early wipe caliber because of how accessible it was, and in a game like Tarkov that prioritizes realism and immersion, you could safely assume that 9mm would be cheap, pretty easy to control, and not really hit that hard. And for a long time, that's exactly what it was. Then with the addition of the Vector and some of the higher tier ammo, people started getting pretty frustrated with it. You could buy the best ammo really easily and in high quantities, and the guns had pretty much no recoil at all. So BSG swung the pendulum all the way the other way with the recoil changes that happened in patch point 12 and some of the changes to the availability of the 9mm ammo in subsequent patches. They pretty much nuked 9mm. The guns were really bouncy in full auto at any range, and trying to semi-auto or burst 9mm guns was pretty much an absolute joke. And even though we could still buy really good rounds from the traders in much bigger calibers, good 9mm ammo was now very, very hard to get. But with patch point 14, I think they may have finally found a good middle ground. The new recoil system made 9mm guns very fun to shoot again, especially in semi-auto or controlled bursts. The changes to the availability of all the ammos means that 9mm ammo is a viable choice compared to the other things you can purchase, and the armor changes means there are even more ways to be effective with smaller calibers. Now, we're going to get into all those things into more detail, but first I want to talk about what I call the triangle of balance. This is not an official thing, I literally made it up just for this video, but it's how my brain processes things. It has recoil and ammo down at the bottom, and armor sitting on top of the triangle. All of these things interact with each other, and balancing means addressing or considering all three. Now, the main interaction between balancing a gun is between the recoil and the ammo. If you have ammo that's not that great, but in a gun with absolutely no recoil, you can still be very effective because because you can hit so many shots. And if you have a really, really heavy hitting round, but with a gun that has a lot of recoil, once again, you can still be really effective because you only need to hit a few of those shots. And then there are a million flavors in between. Armor sits on top of this triangle because it interacts with everything. If really, really good armor is too available, then recoil doesn't really matter anymore because all you want is the best ammo you can get at all costs. And if there's no good armor in the game, well then the high tier ammos don't really matter. You're just gonna go for a gun with no recoil. Now, in this system, we can pretty easily map out where things should be, right? SMGs and smaller calibers should have less recoil and probably ammo that doesn't hit as hard. Huge 308 guns like the Foul should probably have higher recoil because they shoot those big boy bullets. And AR should sit somewhere in the middle. And of course, armor should also be balanced in this system so that it's not impossible to get good armor, but it's also not infinitely available. All this is much easier said than done, but the concept is important to understand when we talk about 9mm. The recoil changes, the changes to the availability of the ammo, and the changes to the armor system have all had a huge effect on the viability of 9mm and all come together to make it an extremely effective budget caliber. First, let's dive into the recoil. Like we said, the new recoil system really favors SMGs, and all the 9mm guns I have shot fall into this category. They are extremely fun to shoot, and if you're trying to conserve ammo when fighting scavs or something, semi-auto or short controlled bursts feel really, really good. Which is awesome, because it didn't always used to be that way. You pretty much always had to max
mag dump every single enemy, and since good ammo is hard to come by, this was pretty annoying. Now, I know some of the feedback of this new recoil system is that a lot of people are saying it's a little bit too laser beamy, and while that definitely might be the case for sure that some guns need to be tuned, in this video we are looking at SMGs and specifically 9mm ones. And yes, they are really easy to shoot right now, but they might not be as laser beamy as you think. All we really have to do is take a few of these guns and hop into the hideout, which from the table all the way to the back is about 50 meters, and you can see that even at this distance, trying to keep all of your shots on target or trying to hit all of your shots as headshots can be really, really challenging. At any sort of range, it can actually be hard to land shots consistently exactly where you want them, and we'll see how important that is when we start talking about some of the armor changes. This obviously puts 9mm more in the close quarters category, which is where you would expect to see it. And in order to really see how balanced this is, we also have to consider the other two pieces of that triangle. How do the ammo and the availability of armor play into this? Well, if we take a look at the ammo charts, we can see that these rounds really aren't that strong, with PVP being at the top with only 39 pen, which means the end game ammo for 9mm is really going to be struggling against class 5 and class 6 armors. And one of the changes that they made is that this ammo is now extremely hard to get. You can only craft it, and that craft is pretty expensive, and you craft a small quantity, or finding it in raid, that is it. Then we take a look at the next best, which is going to be the most popular round, and that is AP 6.3, only 30 pen and 52 damage. This will not be a meta round, no matter how good the recoil of the guns are. Another thing to consider here when looking at the 9mm ammo is how slow they fire. We're going to talk about this a little bit more later, but the speed of these rounds is about half of something like 5.56 or 7.62. The big thing here when we're talking about the ammo is not really that 9mm got buffed at all, but more that what you can get in other calibers got nerfed, meaning these rounds are much more comparable to what you can actually get now. If we take a look at other really popular calibers like 5.56 or 7.62 by 39, the best 5.56 round you can get even at level 2 traders is FMJ, which has 23 pen and 59 damage. The best 7.62 round you can get at level 2 traders as well is also FMJ with 26 pen and 63 damage. For 9mm at level 2 traders, you can get PST GCH, which has 20 pen and 54 damage. Now, once again, I'm not saying that 9mm is better than these 5.56 or 7.62 rounds. These other rounds fly faster, making them better with scopes, and they normally have higher damage, meaning it's going to do more damage when it does pen and armor. But the delta between the 9mm and these bigger calibers at these trader levels is much less than it used to be. The 9mm rounds will shoot out of guns with much less recoil and much higher fire rate, meaning that depending on the situation, the time to kill could be much quicker with the 9mm ammo. This seems a lot more balanced than last wipe, where you could get M856A1 from level 2 Peacekeeper, which had 38 pen and 52 damage. Like, at that point, why would you use anything else? The final thing to consider here is the armor. And I will say that this new system is complicated and I'm still learning about it. If you want more information, I would highly recommend checking out Airwing Marine or Gigabeef's videos on the subject for a more in-depth breakdown. But practically, small calibers kind of got a nerf and a buff with this new system. They got nerfed in the sense that rounds no longer do blunt damage when they don't pen a plate, meaning that it's harder to chip away at someone's HP. How Tarkov calculates damage to plates seems to have changed as well, meaning that it might take more shots to destroy armors now, and because of the separate zones, armor might take more shots now. If you shoot somebody in the back and then they turn around to fight you, well all that damage you did to their armor doesn't really matter because the front of their armor is still 100%. But on the flip side of that, small calibers also kind of got a buff. With the introduction of the neck, armpit, and side hitboxes, now well-placed shots from smaller calibers can be even more deadly than they ever have been. Also, most of the soft armor that exists under these plates, even in endgame armors, is only class 2 or 3, which means shooting around the plates with small ammo now allows you to pen much more quickly, and in the past few wipes, face shield usage has been at an all-time low. And because of that, with small calibers, the advice has always been aim for the face. Well, now you have more hitboxes that will often be completely unarmored, meaning that you can kind of sneak by somebody's armor and get a kill really fast. Now, when you consider all of these things together and add in the fact that 9mm guns are very available early on in the wipe, there is a variety of them and they don't need to be modded very much in order to be functional, you can see how this all comes together to make this an awesome budget caliber. But it's not perfect. This video is in no way me saying that 9mm is meta, it's not, at all, and it shouldn't be the best caliber in the game. It does not excel in every situation, and that's a good thing. What I love about this is that it really starts to look like guns might start to have specific roles. I hope that we have more situations where we feel more in control because we have the right kit, and more situations where we maybe decide to not fight somebody or relocate before we engage. If you see somebody at 75 meters away and try to laser beam them with your MP5, you might be able to do so and get a lucky shot, but the ammo is slow, it's really hard to hit shots 
shots exactly where you want them at that range, and that guy might have an ADAR with an LCAN and just turn and one-tap you while you're reloading. Hopefully, this trend continues at every level, and there seem to be fair and balanced pros and cons of using different equipment, but we will definitely have to see how this shakes out over the course of the wipe. Maybe it's just copium, and in two months, only three guns will be meta again, and nobody will use anything else. But for now, while we're in the early wipe, it's good to see 9mm be awesome again. Definitely let me know what you think, though. Drop a comment down below with your favorite early wipe gun to use. If you like this video, think about dropping a like or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch six days a week, also here on YouTube. Those links will be down below. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is an awesome place to be as well. That will be linked down below. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will definitely see y'all on the next one.